level two. Major punching shear through the slab. As you come down here on level two, you can see, has anyone got more light? You can see where the shear wall below, the plane below has punched up. No, that's the shear wall. There. That's the column line, isn't it? That's where the canteen goes. That's the outside wall. That's the outside wall in grid E. Steers, that's where it's collapsed to. Yeah, well, well, this thing right here. Oh. Behind this two by four. Oh, yeah, you, that's right. You can use that uh, as part the elevator shafts to get. Okay. It's the bottom of the steer. That's the only one I think of. Where's the. Um, This is looking under where we just were on level two. As you can see, there's a precast wall through there with a bit of 1.2 deep spandrel, and the slab has folded over top of it. Hence, what we've seen on the top. Uh, this is this is level two. This is the frame along grid E. Which has a shear failure through. Uh, here we are, we're on level three. It says it's split level five. This is the junction line between the two buildings. So below us is the shear wall that goes up the side of the ramp. It's level uh, here we are at the junction of the two buildings. And as you can see, this is the amount of displacement from the Grand Chancellor building, where it is broken away from the car park. As you can see... That looks to be, that looks to be cast in place concrete. That uh, fascia. I think it's, it's precast. I think if we go around the corner, I think it's still clipped on. This is a precast fascia panel. This is where the main column on the ground level has collapsed, which has been shot it up. Um, the frame on level 6 on the outside on grid E, as you can see there is flexural damage to it, but it's still relatively intact, other than this joint here, which has got a rotational failure. Uh, we're now on level 8. Uh, this is where this main column here has been jacketed. Something like this is where your cast before was. Yeah, I know. Um, as you can see, you can see the large amount of wall displacement. You've got a major flexural crack in at the floor running along the beam line. This is level 8, grid E, again, as you can see, the damage is very, very similar. Same rotational damage at the joint, and mostly positive moment flexural cracking, about 1500 to 1800 out from the joint. Uh, here's the collapse there. There's a collapse, well, there's at least two. There's, uh, there's two, two folded on each other. What's happened? It's like the core wall at the top has actually busted out. I think it's, it's been compression, it's gone yeah. back and then it's boom. Yeah, that's what Nancy was fine. Here we are on level 10. These are the columns where the main failures occurred, they've been jacketed now. Uh, this is looking into the hotel 
conference area, isn't it? Uh, restaurant area. This is pretty narrow. The only I can give you an idea as to how low it is by standing here like this. That's how low it's come. This would have been a three metre ceiling before. Um, this is level 10. So what's the condition for rest of these columns? So this column has actually got fracturing and failure at the top. These, these bars are like spaghetti. Uh, the, as you can see, this column here is at a major collapse. Well, the defining steel has actually busted off. And it is basically at a place of rest. And we're standing underneath it. Um, <laughs> Some remedial work needs to be done to this column, and I think the other column's on this level before any deconstruction commences. The same type of failures happening in, over here. I think that's what he was talking about. It's probably more Yeah, this is a this is crack on level 12. This is one of the main shields between the car park building and the Hotel Grand Chancellor. It is. Getting up to four to five mils wide. There's no compression failures at the end of the wall, which would tend to indicate that this is more of a face load or flexural cracking, or almost a buckling of the wall rather than a flexural failure. Um, this room has actually got considerably smaller. It's not a place I would have wanted to be. This is the top of the car park level. As you can see, uh, the panel to the roof slab has gone over the building. This is actually two different buildings, so isn't it? That's yeah. The Just a wee sneak preview of the rest of Christchurch. This is the steel well. As you can see, the total steel well has gone. On the side, anyway. Can we see if the other one's still intact? Because we're going to use, we'll go on that side. Use, one, use one for access is one of the main columns. As you can see, yeah, okay. we've got fracturing, right. pressure and failure. Right. Right. Yeah. Alright. So we're showing the torch on this column. We're looking at this column here. Yeah. So, It goes right in, probably gets in about half a mile. I need three quarters of the way through the column. It's just the cover concrete that's confined. Confinement still in place. Yeah. 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 In the beam column joint, but the column is intact. Yeah. It's, it's formed a plastic hinge at the actual column, beam column joint. There's a couple of stirrups. Oh, shit, that is. No, that's, that stirrup over there is unhinged. Oh, it is too. These beams do not like going this, rotating this far, by all account. Look at that. Lying in bed, looks like somebody was. Just got out anyway. What did you estimate the drop to be? Oh, it's a long way. Um, Half a meter? Yeah. To 700? Yeah. 
This is the junction of the two buildings again. As you can see, they're separated. This is obviously somebody's escape route. Try to run out and you open the door and the stairs are locked. Yeah. Oh, Those ones there. Hinge there, hinge there. Yep. This doesn't seem to slope as much. I mean, better further investigation would be to actually find out, just check those, make sure they are okay. But based on the fact there's not much rotation along this line, it seems to be mm. sort of it's from there forward, that way forward, isn't it? Mm. There's that other building you're talking about? Yes. Yeah, uh, Do you want me to zoom in on it? That one with the orange roof? That's 181 Cashel Street. Exact same. Failure at the beam column joint, but in this level here, you can also see that there is a fracturing in the interspan. This is level 19 to 20. Steer is relatively intact. No steers on the other side. Level 20. Same failure. Um, the displacement up on these upper levels uh, seems to be increasing towards the west side of the building, which makes me feel that some of these other columns are a bit more damaged. This is on that same column line, level 25. As you can see, there's some major flight failures in the slabs. Here's the corner of High Manchester Street. Here's Bedford Road.